was the son of a pizza man The only boy who could ever Welcome to Soda Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. I need more, more energy. Okay. Alright. Not that much. Let's, 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 let's ratchet it down a couple of notches. Okay. Let's do like a, let's do like a six. A six? Yeah. That's still pretty high. Alright. <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome to Sonoma Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. So today, we're talking about keto pizza. Uh, it's based on the keto diet, which is uh, no carb, mm -hmm. high fat. Yep. So... It's, uh, keto is short for ketogenic, um, and it has to do with like... Keto well, no, ketogenic is like the... And ke it's ketogenic is like getting to... is the kind of food you want to eat to keep your body in ketosis. And ketosis is, I don't know, about like losing weight by basically like eating no carbs and having a bunch of fat. Okay. And it's like good fat. Okay. So, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so I found this recipe online. It's a very popular recipe for a keto pizza. I think what I looked at, what I looked at online is like no rice, no sugar, no gluten, no, um, it looked like it was no milk, um, but there is dairy in this. No. Well, yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. mozzarella in it, right. but yeah. Anyway. All right. All right, let's see how this tastes. I'm, I'm skeptical. It looks like... It looks like pizza. It, like, the, I mean, the crust is very, like, it's very crusty. It's very... Yeah. I mean, it's it has flour in it. It's just almond flour. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Um, it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's um, it's salty. It's really salty. I don't know if that's just I put salt in it as well. Okay. So I was like, oh, I need some salt. It's actually really salty. I'm sorry, baby. Um, it's um, okay. It's not. It's not bad. It's not a bad substitute for pizza. I don't think. No, but it almost tastes like. It almost tastes like the crust is um, made of like egg. Like it's got, the way it breaks apart is not like, it's barely doughy and as it like, as you get it in your mouth and chew on it, it tastes almost like a, almost like when you have like an omelet, you have that part of the omelet that's like been really, really cooked. Right. So it's like airy and kind of, yeah, I don't know, kind of bready almost, but right. I don't know. It's, don't know. Um, it's, it's tasty. Yeah. I, I think I would be happy with this as a substitute. If I couldn't have pizza and someone brought me this, I'd be like, all right, I'll eat it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so allegedly the keto diet is like people debated it quite a bit. I mean, just because it's a diet, but like the big thing is like it's supposedly if you have like an eating disorder or like have a history of eating disorder, you're not supposed to get onto it because you have to really monitor your glucose levels and your other things. So even more than just like counting calories and shit, it, pardon me, stuff. <laughs> yeah. Even more than like counting calories and stuff, you also have to like. You're literally like testing your blood and testing your keto your uh, your keto levels in your body and things like that or whatever. So like they say like if you have a propensity to get sort of obsessive or like propensity to get obsessive about that kind of stuff that you should avoid the you should avoid it. But 
Um, I don't know. I hate fad diets so much. <laughs> and it doesn't, to me, it almost seems like an overdeveloped version of, remember when everybody was really into, um, what was that one? The, uh, the carb-free protein heavy diet from back in like the early 2000s. Atkins? The Atkins diet, right. Which went away and now it's been replaced by this, which is like- I mean, this is along the, line, along the same lines as the cauliflower pizza mm. bad, which mm -hmm. I'm, I will be doing at some point. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a substitute. It's, I don't know if it's- I think the idea of making a crust out of vegetables, I think sounds really good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost like a frittata. Right. But this to me also has kind of almost like a frittata kind of a mm. kind of a finish because it's very much like the crust is just I don't know it really tastes eggy to me but okay well, I don't know your your farts are gonna taste eggy later so <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about <clears throat> well <laughs> what <laughs> you're like drenched you're, I, you're I'm like, seriously like <clears throat> uh, hey guys I don't know if you can tell but we are both. Melting right now. It is uh, 90, 90, mid 90s, hot and humid. Yeah. And um, I, I noticed, I'm sure you noticed over the course of the video, you're uh, besides my hair being super greasy and. Gross, you're schwitzing. I'm schwitzing and the color of my shirt is changing. But yeah. anyway, um, thank you for, for enduring. And, yeah. And, and, and hey, no, no, no. Thank you for enduring. No, thank you, baby. No, thank you for no, enduring. Really, I thank think you did a really good job today. Um, and if you want to talk to me, hit me up, say hello, tell me to call jump, me jump off a if bridge. If you need know. someone to talk to, call me. No? Yeah. No, that's not? Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can comment below or you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I would love to hear from you. And um, don't forget to subscribe, most importantly. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Until next time, ciao for now. See you later. Who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yes.